get ready because today we're starting our brand new fully modded playthrough of Satisfactory. Remember, efficiency first. Godspeed. Hello everyone, I'm Kibitz, and welcome back to Satisfactory. Where today we're going to be starting our modded playthrough. So this will change literally everything with the game. Including hundreds of new buildings, new resources, and an absolutely insane amount of new technologies. Like, oh my goodness, the game, it's gonna be wild. And as we get started here, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. But without further ado, let's rock and roll. And a couple things first, as I'm sure you've noticed, we are in the Green Hills biome because, oh boy, I got some plans for this playthrough, mainly revolving trains. And we're just off in the corner here because we have limestone really close, a bunch of iron nodes, and some copper. But before we get rocking and rolling any further, there is something we gotta do immediately. And it's a simple trick I learned while doing satisfactory speedruns over on my Twitch channel. I stream Sunday, Wednesday, Friday, by the way. And the trick is just to go to all the draw pods you possibly can and loot them for all they're worth so you don't have to handcraft as much or wait for stuff to process. Just grab like, you know, a quadrillion freaking wire and then whatever else you can find. And this should help us get going a lot faster. Except, oh boy, things are gonna be moving in a very strange direction because now mods start to get involved. So usually, you have to wait until you have the space elevator and coal power before you get automated power. But luckily with mods, check this out, we have wind turbines. So we get power before coal, meaning we don't need to go freaking bushwhacking for like 30,000 years. So all we gotta do is set up some really basic stuff like our first couple miners, then a few smelters and constructors, and then brother, we're ready to rock and roll. But as we wait for our supplies to build up, check out these little guys. Aren't they cute? They're mini storage containers, our small storage containers. They're half the price of the normal ones and they only have a couple inventory slots, but yo, you know what? You start in the game out, these guys are the best. I already love them. Also, we have a lot of cool stuff already free to unlock, like huge inventory. Because why limit inventory, right? Give it all to me. Unlimited inventory. I wasn't kidding. And now after waiting a little bit, we're gonna get infinite power as well. Let's go. So refined power, wind turbines. Milestone reached. The refined power R&D division have developed a new power generation method. This building can generate up to 30 megawatts of power based on its altitude. Note, if a wind generation device is within the vicinity of another building of the same type, performance will not be optimal. Stay efficient. Yeah, totally will, just as my power grid dies. <laughs> ah, but now at least we're off of leaf power. So, refined power, wind turbine. Yeah, these things are really, 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 really cool. They have a lot of cool mechanics that don't make them super OP, but come on, it's free early power. It's pretty OP. So this is the deal. If there are multiple of these in a certain area, they will make less energy. So right now, this one's pretty decent and is getting average efficiency. If we placed it way, 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 way up higher, it'd do a little bit better. But you know what? This is what we got, okay? Nice and comfy cozy. So now, if we want to put a second one of these, we probably have to go for like 50 miles in order to put one. Because this is probably too close, right? No. Oh, hold up. Okay, so now we're starting to get something here. That's pretty close. So that means about this distance should be good? You better believe it, that's pretty close. All right, so now we can start spamming these up literally all over the place once I get more materials. <laughs> All right, but now that we have wind power in the grid, we can pretty much exponentially grow our factory because we just keep building these, keep building machines, vice versa, forever. Of course, we're gonna get new techs, but this will be good for our first episode here and enough power to make us a little starter base. 
Because one of the coolest things about modded Satisfactory is just the absolutely absurd amount of extra building materials you get. You can do so much more and so many cool things. I really want to go over the top beast building. And I want to have multiple bases throughout the world so we can try out different beast building methods and designs. But don't get me wrong, just because we're building multiple bases doesn't mean they're not going to be absolutely massive. Oh no, 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 quite the opposite. Huge bases all over the place, making terawatts of power? Probably terawatts of power, but I'm getting a little ahead of myself. Uh, let me hook up all of the little starter resources around here, and get everything basically processed, and then we can see what other mods we can dip into today. Specifically some that can help us build a really cool starter base. Oh boy though, but now we're getting into all that beautiful starter base spaghetti. And it's looking, you know, it could be worse. It's not too bad. Got some limestone, all the basics, all the essentials, and we have a couple bins full of stuff that we can use to expand. Which is great, but we're probably not going to move forward with this base too far. Cause like I said, I actually want a really cool starter base and I don't want to live in the spaghetti for longer than I have to. So we'll let this run for a little bit longer here, get even more materials. And in the meantime, we have to go on a little adventure here because aside from the drop pods, there's one other thing that you really want early game to make your playthrough much more smooth. And that is a little bit of Keterium. Now we don't need the actual node itself, but if we can get a little handful of the stuff, we can start to research it. And arguably the best technology is available in the Caterium research tree. So boys, you being busy, you better believe it. Good, good, good. Let's start working through. So the first few, pretty straightforward. New resource added to the resource scanner. Then we learn about quick wire, even before we have coal. And now for the main thing, the Blade Runner's brother. So once we get a couple modular frames and a little bit more quick wire, we can be moving and grooving at hyper speeds. Or at least we'd be keeping pace with how fast we're going through the tech tree right now, cause oh brother, it's already time for modular frames. Yeah, it just takes a bunch of star resources, so let's get it. Hello? Oh, there we go. Let's get it. Ba -ba 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 Let's go! Awesome. So now we have, what did we get? Stuff. I think we're getting into pipes, right? Shh, shh, Ada, shh. Ada, shh. It's okay. Rotors, smart plating, space elevator time question mark. Mean thing, Manji their frames. Mmm. Copper sheets and assemblers. Oh boy! I'm excited. Now we just gotta get a couple of those Manji their frames, right? And we're good to go. But there's a small thing, small little issue. Spooky issue. We have a guest. In fact, we have two guests. JK, we have four guests. You see, as I was running around everywhere, there's a bunch of lizard doggos, so I was like, yo, let's go. Uh, they've already found us a little bit of uh, spice. But for the most part, they being pretty good. Look at these guys, aren't they so cute? What? <gasps> these aren't my lizard doggos. It's lizard doggos. I don't know where it came from. I started my game and now it's here. What do you want? I can't, wait, I'm the clone. This is the original, the lizard doggos look to it for guidance. What do you want from me? What do you want from this world? Have we gone so fast we're seeing like our after image? Maybe, but regardless, there can only be one. I hope this doesn't actually like soft lock us or something. I don't know. Do you feel pain? Blah, blah. Blah, blah. Oh, Jesus! It did die. Okay, it feels pain. It feels pain. I'm sorry. Uh, is that just gonna be here forever now? Oh, I killed- I uh, know! I, I took out the original in front of the doggos! Uh. 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 Oh, no. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, it disappeared now. It's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Doggos, don't worry. I'm your friend now. I was always your friend. No, don't look scared at me. D uh, uh, uh. I'm the original. I always was. I am your best friend. Don't mind me, okay? I'll get you berries. I'll bribe you into being my best friends. 
There we go. There we go. Bribery. It always works. You're free from your glass prison. Ah, oh, yeah, they see me. Are we happy now? Good. Stop running away. Take it. Take the bribe. No, they're all just running away. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. No. We were friends for just a little bit of time and then they left me with this. No, no, no. They're not leaving me with nuclear waste and just sputin. Ain't happening. That's right. Best friend. Best friend number two. Good. Where's your other brother? Where'd he go? Ah, ha, 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 ha. Ah, ha, 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 ha. Take it. Good. All right. I'm the original. I always have been. If you saw something different, you were wrong. You're just doggos. You see that? Already bringing me presents. Exactly, because I'm the original. And... Perfect. No problems whatsoever anymore. Great. Also, I've expanded the base a little bit more too. We have a second floor, which just has all of the copper production. And in a second here, we're just gonna build another floor to start building some assemblers on. Oh, and if you're wondering what the heck's going on with the ladders and with the windows there, I'll explain that in a moment, don't worry. Because you gotta check out this first. And this is probably one of the coolest mods that we've actually downloaded here but it's called the Smart Foundations mod. And check this out. You can extend your build parameters with foundations. Get it, they're smart. And you can make super massive foundations in like half a second. <laughs> there we go. Look at that. It's even better than area actions, which is a mod we used in our vanilla plus let's play. Amazing. And we can do actually a lot more than that with this mod. But for our purposes right now, this is all we kind of want. Anyway, so we'll extend this out. We'll be building platforms super, super quick. And then we'll stop pinging stuff and start building stuff. Like some reinforced iron plates here. Because this entire factory is pretty much being built in order to make 10 reinforced iron plates per minute. That's it. And that's the whole thing. 180 iron ore into 10 iron reinforced iron plates. Cool, because we need to stockpile like hundreds of these for the Mark II belts and of course for those modular frames. Once we have enough, I don't know, 200 of these though, you can rock and roll. Wait, what's with my inventory? Where's my inventory? You, you, why are you back? I thought we dealt with you. Do we have to do this again? Do we have to do this? Again? So be it. There can only be one. Blech. I am the king. And of course, a king needs a crown. Or, I guess, pants. Whatever. We got the blade arms, though. Put together a couple of modular frames, and look at us go now. Ho 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 ho. Ah, yeah, dude. This is definitely something like you must have near the beginning of the game. Oh my goodness, it makes playing it so much better. So much better. Right, guys? Right. So we're gonna switch gears a little bit now. And now we're gonna go into some decorating. So you know the ladders and the glass that are all here? That's part of another mod. Yes, another mod that I've downloaded and used before long, long ago. Probably like a year ago now? Called the More Factory mod. It has evolved though significantly and now comes with a tablet. So check this out. If you press Q normally, it's the normal bit build menu. But this one mod has so many things. You take this out, right? Then you press Q and it has its own inventory of things. We have rounded walls, these things, angled walls, different types of foundations, roads, glass walkways. Dude, dude, uh, what even is that? Doors! We have freaking doors, brother! What? Dude. Dude. This is truly hyper advanced technology. What else is there? Aside from the doors, there's a bunch of different types of doors. Door 30, that looks spooky. The stairs, yeah, normal stairs. Those are looking cool. A crane antenna. Is it just for show? Oh, but I see, it has like the power thing on it. Does it do something if we power it up? It's blinking. 
Okay. <laughs> There's no point to that. I guess that's just like an aesthetic thing. Let's go through some more things. Parts. What is this? Looks like a bike rack, except person sized. Okay. <laughs> Sure. And there's that crane. Where's that? Oh, a silo. Smoker. Crane. Oh my god. Oh, dude. Oh my goodness. For four iron plates, you get a crane? I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry. It moves. It freaking moves. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. What is going on? What? Stop. Can we can configure it? Not really. It just spins? That's so cool, though. That'd be so awesome on top of a factory or on top of, like, an oil rig building? Bruh. Nope, oh, here comes the moth. Gonna run straight into it. Let's uh, take it down before it causes some trouble. Toodaloo, brother. There's a couple other cool things in there, too, though. Like the silo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What? What's up with this? Can Oh, oh, what? Is this real life? Yep, that's pretty awesome. Dude, we have we have to check out the rest now. I don't care about what we have to do today. This is too amazing. Cool corner foundations. All right, no more factory stuff. This is like the bee's knees. Snap walkway. Eh, LED board. Looks like just a sign. Hello, sign. <laughs> Coffee cup. Cool. Antenna. Bruh. We got the science up in here. Who needs a radar station when you have an antenna like this? Ooh, it even has cool noises. Oh, and it has an animation here. It's like getting set up. Dude, we are going to make the ultimate supervillain beast ever created. What else? The crane, silo, smoker. I heard these two things are super laggy, so we're not even gonna look at them. And then hearts. Just so many little like detailing things. Vehicles? I'm sorry. What? <laughs> what? Huh. Weird, dude. Weird stuff. Okay, we've checked out most of that mod. Enough ogling over it. We'll go through more stuff later. Right now, I'm pretty sure we have enough items in here to build a starter base. So this is really cool and all. Like it, it, it's not really cool, but it works really well, but it doesn't look cool. So we're gonna tear this whole thing down. We're gonna shovel the items into some boxes, rebuild it in some cool way, and then move all the factory back in. Cause yeah, like, dude, look at all the stuff. We had the more factory stuff. We have all these extra foundations. Like, look at this box. Are you seeing this box? Dude, I don't, I don't even know. But I really, really, really want to mess around with all this. So let's delete all of our hard work, store it all away, and begin again from a clean slate. And before we start designing a whole new base here, let's see what's in our bag of tricks in the research thing. I'm sure there's a couple things that we could find useful. Number one being something in tier one uh, called Conveer Wall Hole. And this is a really, really cool mod. So normally in the game, you have to have like the conveyor walls in order to get like belts through a wall. But with this mod, I believe this is how it works. You just put down a wall, then you get the wall hole, and you can just put this anywhere on the wall you want. And it'll bring items through. So you connect it to there, and everything goes this way. Double check that it quickly works. And there we go. Isn't that wild, eh? So instead we could have these like literally anywhere. It doesn't have to be like the three wall holes, it doesn't have to be anything like that. We can just have belts going through walls everywhere and anywhere. Belts going up, belts going down, moving all around, it's gonna be crazy. <laughs> and now is there something for floors? It'd be so cool if we could pass belts through floors. Oh yeah, dude. Oh yeah, dude. I thought there'd be something. Check this out. 
100%. We could just bring one of these through and do that's gonna be so neat. Oh man, oh man, I love the building mods. Uh, building in games is one of my favorite things to do and we just have unlocked the toy box. However, there's so much stuff, I don't even know where to begin. And with this, a lot of it's gonna be like humming and hawing, trying to figure out what the heck to do, what kind of combinations work well. So I'm gonna spend a couple hours messing around with things in the mod and we'll try and put together a pretty decent looking starter base. And I'll show you guys what I make right after the boot. Oh bud, you know what I just realized? We don't have like 90% of the building materials unlocked, like vanilla wise. A lot of modded stuff, but very little vanilla stuff. And um, <laughs> I, I tried, I tried my best with the modded stuff, but you know, kind of ended up meh. It's pretty cool. Gotta say it's pretty dang cool, but we can do so much more with just a few more things like the awesome sink. But check it out. We got windows over there, little half windows. Got some antennas up there, big old radar on the roof. We have some belts on the outside to add some movement. And on the right side, we have our doodad, rocket ship. And in the middle, dude, dude, are you seeing this? This is a door. Isn't that amazing? It's a giant door. Bruh, that is so freaking cool. It was really cheap too. So it's great for our very constrained budget. And this is only the beginning. Like this is gonna get way, 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 way taller and go way further out. So this door will be a lot more appropriately sized then. Right now it's a little <laughs> monstrous, but it looks so cool. And the sounds are so good. But yeah. All right, so I was gonna do a little bit of a tour here, but like I said, we don't have anything. So I didn't have any interior stuff to work with. Like we don't have walkways. We don't have like a lot of ramps. And I just kind of worked with what we got. So we have stairs going up to this level. I'm trying to organize things so that we can have all the smelters on this side and have all the belts go over to there. Leaving like a huge empty space in the middle just for walking around or maybe some other decorations. Then we gotta get a main staircase somewhere. It'll probably end up over there or maybe over here. But for now, we just got ladders literally all over the place going to where things need to be. And since we don't really have a lot unlocked and I can't really finalize the base's structure, I just have a bunch of constructors just on the outside here. These are producing things for our, what's it called, storage room. So all the storage room stuff is built here. I managed to recreate our little reinforced iron plate system back over here. So it's just again, 10 per minute. Pretty simple stuff. And everything ends up going up to the roof because I ran out of room. And going up here, then going way, way, way down to the first floor. Way down here. Can we sneak through here? No. Uh, right beneath here to our storage room. And this is our little storage room for the beginning of the game. And we're doing pretty well on resources. We've got a bit of stuff stacked up, but oh, but we got to do so much more. We have to get more techs. We have to check out more mods. We have to decorate more once we get more unlocks. Dude, it's the beginning to a grand adventure. And I am so excited. What about you, doggos? Are you excited for this as well? What you got? Some coal? Hmm, iffy. Some rocks? Cool. <laughs> That's three pieces of radiation. There's two already here. Okay. The doggos, they're a little scared for the world, as they should be. But hey, hopefully you guys are more excited for the playthrough here. And again, if you are, please remember to leave a like and subscribe. If you're wondering about all the mods, by the way, you can check them out in the description. I have all the information down there, along with some useful links to help you if you want to play modded satisfactory yourself. But anyway, that's going to be all for today. So I hope you guys enjoyed and thank you for watching. But have a fantastic rest of your day. And bye bye.